This conference will now be recorded. So, hello UiPath Exports. Uh, so, welcome to the UiPath.learner channel. This is Sudhir Nimmagadda. Uh, let's see today how to get the live data. Okay, so live changing data. So, every time you see, so in the dashboards, whatever you are seeing now, so it is a changing the numbers, outgoing messages count, incoming messages count subscribers count so everything is a changing in the timely based right so so what i have to do so we have to do so we have to feed the information uh, every five seconds okay every five seconds if it is a change so it has to add the new record so when it is added so the new column called so added on so that is the current time when it is added okay this is an Excel we need to fill. So let us do it in the, I'm just saving this Excel in the desktop. It is empty, MQTT, not XLSX. So let us take a, a small, uh, uh, first of all, let's take a attached browser. I'm just attaching the go to the attached browser uh, properties. I'm changing this to the Chrome and indicate on screen. So I'm just indicating the uh, this MQTT uh, live day dashboard browser. So always it is better to check the selector. So that's good. Okay. Now try to get the get get text okay get text so this is a outcoming outgoing messages check the selector yeah this id is outgoing only so it won't change okay so it is a perfect selector okay so i'm just get get outgoing That is a title I'm doing. So to show this, I'm just using the one new variable called outgoing messages. Outgoing MSC. So that is a string variable. I'm just changing that into the string variable. To store the incoming messages, just copy, create a variable called incoming messages, and to store the subscribers list, create a subscribers that is a string, and to store the retain messages, create a retain messages. Don't give the spaces here. Yeah, to store the bytes, red. bytes right okay so we have a all the variables we created to store that so i'm just copying and pasting again copying and pasting so this is uh, here so what is that incoming messages so getting the income messages and just indicate the screen on the incoming messages Okay, and always check the selector. Yeah, do the same thing for all for the next one subscriber list. Subscriber list. So, get the subscriber list. How many subscribers are there? Indicate on screen. So, indicate the subscriber count. Check the selector and what is the next one? So, uh, retain messages. Retain messages and indicate on screen. Retain messages. How many are there? 
it also will change okay so just check the selector yeah selector is good and what is the next one um, byte red how many bytes red in this step here is a byte red so you have a few more things also right so good and store the value into the bytes red bytes written okay bytes written this so i'm just saving everything in the variables copy paste and what is the next one so just see the queued messages queued messages Is creating the queued messages so it's not created a queued messages is a string by default it is a generic variable what is the next one the last one is mqtt sessions mqtt sessions MQTT session variable we created that is a string okay MQTT sessions okay now we just uh, uh, getting the values from that okay getting the values yeah, okay so then so how many times we have to loop so why so i'm just uh, looping the how many times i'm just using the true so that it will loop uh, infinity times so delay i'm just using the delay operator as this is red so zero zero hours zero, zero minutes zero five seconds every five seconds uh, let's make it as a 10 okay? 10 seconds Ten seconds. Okay, now, uh, so it will loop each in, uh, infinity times. And what we have to use? So we have to use a, a, a build data table. Build data table initially, and uh, we are building the data table like a with all the columns. The first one, added on when it is added that is a new column added on everything is a string i take in so the data table name is uh, name is okay so mq 
T D T. In Q T T D T. Okay. So initially, so what we are doing, so data table. So initially, we are just clearing the data table. Okay, clearing the data table initially. Uh, MQTT data table, and uh, so after that, so once we got the all the values, so once we got the all the values from this, so what we are doing basically, so you are just adding the row. Okay, so add data row here. Okay. So how how can we add MQTT database, and uh, what is the sequence here? Here is a sequence like a same sequence here. So outgoing in incoming, right? Uh, here you have to use the array of uh, outgoing. So why these things are not visible? Because of the scope. Because of the scope. Okay. So here, so here you don't find any variables, but inside this, so you have uh, so many variables. So just increase the scope. Okay, so now you will level these things and all will level will in the outside of the attached browser also. So sequence. So it is out, out message, comma in in message. What is the next? Subscribers, so after subscribers, you have a retained messages. Subscribers, retained messages. What is the next? Byte read, right? Byte read and byte write return. So on the last one, so so the date when we added. Now not to Once it is added the data table new row, so we just append the data append. So before append Excel application scope. Uh, Excel application scope. And uh, browse the Excel. There's a desktop MQTT. And uh, so does that append? Append range, okay. So sheet name is a sheet one. Yes, I am running the robot, so we'll see so what will happen. So it is added the new record. Every five seconds, I see. Every five seconds. Let me close and uh, increase the uh, number to one second. Uh, two seconds okay every two seconds run it see uh, you are seeing the left side so that is a the live dashboard 
and right side it is adding the new records into the excel so that is a our robot is a reading every uh, these many times so every time so whenever the data is changing i mean every two seconds okay the data is changing continuously right so outgoing messages incoming messages everything is changing okay most of the time subscriber count is changing so it is getting the data from that uh, dashboard on the live so and uh, it is adding the appending the data into the right side of the excel okay so that is the live data see see here so it is adding the all the records and also with the date date and time also at the end okay what is the count what is the uh, incoming what is the outgoing messages so these things are not changing okay so that is a uh, about uh, yeah so that's what i am going to explain in, in this video so you just try it out so if, if you are starting the uh, i mean ui path learning okay so just take this is mqtt this is a free uh, thing actually so let me stop it and see excel excel has a is many rows 31 rows added okay uh, this is a just type mqtt mqtt dashboard so if you type the mqtt dashboard so the first one is a record so this mqtt dashboard has a live data you can see the live data always got it so yeah that's what so we just uh, see this uh, how to read the range so read the uh, data from the website and uh, data table clear add data table and uh, append range These are all the things we saw. Uh, if I just remove everything and let us see. Let us see if it is a one, one second. One second, okay. So, so each, each second it is adding the live data to the excel each second okay so yeah thanks for watching this uh, so video so please subscribe if you not yet subscribe so click on the bell icon so to get the notifications whenever i upload the new video okay so if you have any i mean if you if you want to, uh, any video in your UI path or if you know any use case okay so please comment it down down okay so in this video comments so, so please comment it so if you know that any use case so that uh, so we will work on that use cases okay so thanks for watching thank you very much have a good day bye bye